Put hold. Okay, right now I've got it on terminal A with the uh, red cable from the multimeter on terminal A and the black one on ground. Where? Now I'm gonna shh. I'm gonna move it to terminal terminal B in a second, and that's what I get on terminal B. Then move it to terminal C if I can. Terminal B, 17, like I told you guys, 17. I'm gonna do this twice and on every single one of them, just to make sure. Terminal D, that's normal, 0 0.03. Terminal D, now terminal C, on the Opti Spark Hardness, it's giving terminal C, 17.47. Terminal B is getting 7.39. You're blocking the light. You're blocking the light. Yeah, yeah you are. Let's move over. Okay, ignore that, please. 7.38 on terminal B. Terminal A. 7.37. That's terminal A. 7.37. One more time, guys. Terminal A. 7.36. And this is on the Opti Spark harness. Terminal B. 7.36. Terminal C, 1734, which is what you guys are saying is wrong. That's much voltage. And what you said about the PCM only gives out max 5 volts. That makes a lot of sense. So terminal D, 0 0.03. And uh, it's on my multimeter. I have it as, let me take it off the other. Terminals. Let's see if I got this right, guys. I had it on. The dot is right here. The point is right here. I can't really see good enough, but I have it on 20 DC. I have it on DC volts. DC is on the left, right here. Right here is DC, and volts is right here on this side. So that's the multimeter, right? That I'm using. It's a Centec automotive meter. So, yes, tell me what you guys think, what's wrong with it. And then obviously that voltage is coming from the Opti Spark harness. Um, so it's, giving, it's reading off the PCM and the actual fuse on the driver's side. So fuse and PCM. So tell me what I'm, something's wrong. If I'm doing it wrong, let me know.